welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know, and today is finally the day. What's happening today? We finally get to clean the apartment, reorganize the apartment, and get everything situated, so. Finally. Finally. So, we woke up this morning, we officially just went to the leasing office, made sure his car was on the lease, he was on the lease, all of that is good to go, and I now. Got a parking spot, no more finally, spots, oh my god. There's spots in this development, <laughs> absolutely suck. It's terrible. Ter And enjoy that clip of cloud. And back to you, Gabby. <laughs> so I think the plan is, first of all, it's like the perfect day to do this. It is about to absolutely downpour. But I think the plan is to start with the guest closet in the guest room. Literally take everything out. Yes. Decide what even yeah. needs to stay. Yes. And then keep things in. I'm so excited. So the guest room is like kind of back to normal. We finally have room to play with. We're going to, I think, move the... Clothing right back in here, move that into the room, but we'll figure all that later. This is what mainly needs to get tackled. Half the stuff in here, I just, I really don't need. Like, I had literally only touched like the suitcases. Occasionally, obviously my jackets can stay here for when I need them, but like the rest can get cleaned out. So we just came across my book bag from school. Excuse me, sir. What's good? Huh? Try to vlog. Can you believe that I used to be this organized with all my school notes? This is the key to success. One, it makes note taking fun. Two, you just know where everything was, so it's so easy to study. Okay, we're gonna time lapse over again. <laughs> well, these two are doing that. This room is a disaster right now. But what do you mean? What these two are doing that? I just did all that in the closet. No, and I'm just out. saying. Yes, you did all of this, pretty much. I know. <laughs> but I'm just saying. All while right. that's happening, I'm gonna show you what's going on. So this, <sighs> everything—not everything yet—but at least everything is off the floors. The main stuff is out. This whole side is pretty much empty. He just mopped and kind of like swiffered and cleaned all that. We still, what are we doing with this? Um, I have to pull everything out. I have to reorganize these two shelves. I need to take all these boxes and kind of stack them up underneath. I'm going to do the boxes actually. So half yeah. of them will go there because I want the clear containers to stay in the back mm -hmm. and kind of just like either fill those up with things that are not going to really ever be used, but we're going to keep and hold on to. And I don't know, I'll probably do like jackets and everything and stuff on this side, considering it'll have enough space and like things won't need to get touched for a while, even though it's September, but like, you know, we have like yeah. a couple months before traveling to like the winter states and things like that. So I don't know, just like, uh, continue just to reorganize and stuff, you know, like, uh, it's just so much to do. <laughs> While that was happening, I tackled something that's probably never been done in the history of me living in this apartment, which is disgusting. But when I very first moved into this apartment like three years ago, I was actually not here to move in. Other people were moving stuff in for me. So by the time I got back, things were already like put in places that I definitely wouldn't have put them in. And this closet was the main part of that. So all just this closet was filled with stuff and it was disgusting, so dusty and just everything was a mess. I'm actually glad that I didn't show you the before of this because it was probably embarrassing and probably honestly like a fire hazard. So like since this is already out, this is the one. Should we just put the Christmas tree up now? What? <laughs> it's already out. Yeah, but like look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Bud, what is, you smell something? It smells Luca. <laughs> He's in the bin. Look at him. What are you doing? The closet looks so much better. His clothes are starting to go in. This room is at least less chaotic. The door can close. And yeah, so like it looks like a closet. And then this is stupid architecture anyway because you can't even get to the back of this without having to do it. So this is all storage. Just tried my absolute best to organize the guest bathroom. I don't have any like organizers or dividers. So the best I could do was at least not make everything look messy. But we did kind of clean out the countertop area, hey, and we organized the shower so it looks so much better in here. Just way less clutter, and the only thing missing now in this bathroom is a soap dispenser. 
And this seriously could not have come at a better time, but I just got my Blue Land package in the collaboration they did with Disney in the mail, and this is just gonna complete this bathroom. Blue Land is all about eliminating the need for single-use plastic, and the whole brand is extremely planet and eco-friendly. So not only are these soap dispensers reusable, they're also extremely cute with the little Disney characters and just little Disney touches around the bottles. But the products that are actually in their soap are also clean ingredients. There's absolutely no parabens, bleach, or ammonia, or any other harmful ingredients in their soap. You're no longer having to buy single-use soap bottles, and Blue Land's refills are only $2 compared to the soaps that you get from a store, which are like six to eight dollars. So it's super easy to do. All you do is fill the bottle up to the line with warm or hot water. And then you just take one of the tablets and drop that into the water until it fully dissolves. Like you literally don't have to do anything else. It just does it all on its own. So by switching to the reusable soap bottles and the soap refills, you can help join me in making one small, simple decision that can help positively affect our planet. And you can do so with getting a discount. So make sure you use my discount code on the screen to get 15% off the Disney and Blue Land hand soap. I think this is all the cleaning that we are going to do today. And I will pick this back up hopefully tomorrow whenever we decide to continue. And it's now two days later because yesterday, honestly, we were still just stuck in that room. Not much got accomplished. So I was like, let's take the day off of vlogging and let's pick the camera back up when it's actually more satisfying, more fun, entertaining stuff to watch. So guys, look. My corner's back. So the clothing rack and all of his clothes got moved to the other room. So the chair is now finally back in the corner. We can put the pillows there. They used to be over here and they were driving me nuts because I literally couldn't get to my vanity. And it was not fun for a while. And I just feel like everything was a mess. So currently unpacking and putting all my clean clothes away. And then I got distracted in the process and started cleaning out my drawers, which I probably could have, should have, and could have, would have done this in a better order, but we chose to just do it now. So first drawer that I did was this drawer of just like my tank tops and whatnot. It is slightly organized better, at least in piles. Okay, it was so much better two seconds ago, but it's fine. It's better than it was. My true drawer is next because it was a disaster and I literally couldn't close it. So let's tackle this. And this looks so much better. I still have a whole bunch of clean clothes to put away. So this will be filled and this will be like this year's practice outfit pile. But the drawer can close finally. I think this is gonna be the next one to tackle because this drawer also barely closes. And I feel like I'm only wearing the same couple pairs of shorts over and over and I just have attachment issues and I feel like I just need to let them go. So we're gonna clean them out and everything that I clean out is gonna be on my Poshmark or my Depop. I don't know which one. Let me know down below which one you guys like better. But my mom runs those, so it's gonna be a little bit until they're actually up and available for you guys to buy. Especially, I'm gonna do my bathing suit drawer finally and clear so many of those out. So obviously you guys will see which ones I get rid of and which ones will go up. But let me know if you want them to go on Poshmark or Depop, which one's better. But then stay tuned on my Instagram for when they actually go up on the closet up there so you guys can get them. I'm pretty proud of myself. I cleaned out a lot. I know, it's the end of an era. If you remember these shorts, I wear them all the time. Like three, four years ago, they're so comfy. So if you want them, be on the lookout. Some cheer clothes and yet somehow this drawer is still filled all the way up. Luckily, oh my God, it can't even close. I mean, okay, it can. That just needed to be put down better, but what the heck? Okay, we're gonna pretend like that was easier, but another drawer done. Now, he made some breakfast, so I think we're gonna take a little break. Um, ignore the tree, we're getting rid of that. But I think we're gonna watch Clickbait on Netflix. We just finished Safe, which 10 out of 10 recommended. It was really good. Super easy watch, it's only one season, but I think we're gonna start clickbait now because everyone's been talking about that. Took a little break, immediately got back to work. The pile is growing. Of all the stuff I got rid of, just tackled this drawer. It looks so much better. Also did the workout drawer, which I will show you that as well. Just super organized, so much better. All of these are done. This is done, that's done, and now it is time to tackle the bikini drawer. I have too many, it doesn't close. So here we go, time to finally get rid of some. I don't know the last time I cleaned these out. So hopefully I don't get attached to them and I can actually get rid of some because I constantly get new ones and there's no more room. So tell me you live in Miami without telling me you live in Miami. I have, I wish I had the time to sit here and count how many I actually have. But that would take forever. Um, but 
This is absolutely insane. There's so many. I'm going to be here forever. Oh, goodness. Wow. Okay, let's get started. I think that literally just took me an hour. But here is the pile of all the ones that I'm getting rid of. And here is all the ones I'm keeping. Um, I did color code it because I think that'll make it the most organized in the drawer. And because they're finally laid out, I got to count them. And I have just the ones I'm keeping. I have 60 bikinis and four one pieces. All of these ones though, I do actually wear all the time. So at least we have eliminated so many. So I'm proud. Now I think I'm gonna try to make an aesthetic TikTok of putting them all back in and color coded because I think it's just gonna be really satisfying. So let's try to do that. And they're color coded, they're organized. We got one pieces, high waisted. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pattern, brown, white, black, gray. Wow. Um, well, now it is time to chill for a sec and then get ready to go to the gym already. That took all day. So this video's not done yet, but we're getting somewhere. It's day four of four. It's now Thursday. We started on Monday. Today should be the last day, and it's finally closet clean out day. I don't think I can fit a single hanger more on this rack. They're like screaming for dear life. Like they are shoved in here. So that's an issue. Um, I, I don't need this many sweatpants. That's another issue. Same with the hoodies and half of the stuff doesn't get touched. So today's the day. My co, I don't know what I was trying to say. My co-decision maker is here to help and say yes or no. So, I can so find this is what I used stuff. to do guys. I yeah, no fair. Literally in these two. And just watch and just say, yep, nope. And yeah, I kind of did what I needed to in my room for now. I have to definitely like, reorganize my actual clothes and kind of just put my hoodies together more, my short sleeves, long sleeves, things like that. But for the most part, I'm good. It feels good though. This is the update. Well, we're on the hoodies now, but my clothes can kind of breathe. Most definitely, I can breathe too. <laughs> but like, I still have so many. So, uh, sweatpants we barely went through. I can't really see those much, but that's not as important as all this stuff. So much Everything better. Garbage bag, garbage bag, garbage bag. So many. <laughs> Four days later, and we have successfully, finally, did a huge apartment clean out and organization, a huge closet clean out organize all my drawers literally got the entire apartment in order finally we've been wanting to do this forever i was not expecting it to take four days i thought maybe like two absolutely three at most here we are four days later but it feels so good to be done but it's now time for me to get other work done because this is literally all i've been able to do all week and i'm a little behind on other stuff so with that being said we're gonna end the video right here i want to thank disney blue land for working with me again on this video make sure to check them out everything's linked down below such a cute little piece to the apartment and I'm so happy to be able to recycle that now and reuse it again instead of constantly having to buy more soap bottles. So make sure to check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you a little bit if you've been putting it off like we have to clean out your closet, just organize things and just kind of like it stresses me out to not have a fresh space. So the fact that this is all organized now, yes, it took forever, but like I feel brand new. I feel so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that, and I'll see you in the next video.